Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com and today we're going to show you how to route the Nexus 7 using the Wugfresh Toolkit method. Okay, so to begin, you got to download the Wugfresh Toolkit. So click on that link. Scroll down on his page to download and click that EXE. Then click the download link. and save it to your desktop. Okay, now while that's downloading, plug in your Nexus 7 by USB to the computer. On your Nexus 7, go to settings. Scroll down to developer options. Turn them on. And then select USB debugging. Turn that on. And then we're going to right click the exe file, run as administrator, hit run, hit yes, and then hit install. And wait for that to install. Okay, once that's done, it's going to ask you to choose your current device. Scroll down to the last one. And if you're on Android 4.1.1, choose this one. If you're on Android 4.1, choose this one. Uh, you can check by going into settings and then about phone, you'll see your Android version. I have this one, apply, and that'll open up the toolkit. Next, we're going to hit full driver installation guide. and automatic driver configuration, click OK. And when this opens, if you have Windows 7, uh, you can try the automatic driver configuration. If not, uh, you can do the step-by-step -step here uh, and keep doing these steps until you get to the end to make sure that you have the drivers installed. Um, there is a chance that these drivers have already been installed automatically, uh, depending on if you've ever rooted any other devices before on the same computer. I have, so I'm not going to do these steps, but uh, if you get to the point where it says waiting for device or anything like that where it says it can't find the device, that means you have to come to this step and uh, or to this procedure and do all of these steps until you get to the very last one, then try to use the toolkit again. Okay, after you've got the drivers installed, we're going to click backup. And then you can select which things you want to back up. Uh, for me, I want to make sure that I get all of my files that are on my internal storage. So I'm going to click that and click OK. And select where I want to save them. Click the desktop. Folder. Backup. And click OK. and then follow the procedures to create a backup. If you're having issues with the drivers, um, one thing that you can check is go to search, click on settings, just go to control, or not control panel, to device manager. And if you see under other devices, Nexus with a exclamation point, we're gonna right click that update driver software, browse my computer. Let me pick from a list. And scroll down to, I'm gonna use Samsung Android phone because I have those drivers on here. Next, yes. that Get in the toolkit again and now it should find it 
using ADB. Okay, and after you've backed up all those things that you want to back up, we're going to click unlock. Uh, and again, make sure you did a backup or at least save stuff off of your uh, internal storage onto your computer because this is going to wipe the device. We're going to click unlock. Click OK. It's going to reboot into bootloader mode. It might start to install some drivers. And again, if you're having issues with the drivers, for example, fast boot device not found, you can either do the steps again in the driver guide or search for device manager again. Find Android with the exclamation point, click browse, click let me pick. And I'm just gonna click Samsung Android phone because I know I have those drivers. And click OK. And now it should work. Okay, then on your device, you're gonna have this information about unlocking the bootloader, voting warranty, etc. We're going to say, uh, use the volume buttons to highlight yes, and then push power to select it. And wait for the program to recognize that you pushed it. Once it does recognize, it's going to boot back up. Uh, and then it's going to tell you about how you need to go through the setup process again, as if you just turned on the device when you first bought it. Then go to settings, developer options, and turn on USB debugging again, because it has been turned off by doing that unlocking thing and then we can continue to rooting. And once you've turned on USB debugging again, now we can click the root button, but we're gonna also check off permanent CWM. And click OK. Eventually, after showing you a whole bunch of status messages and telling you what it's doing, you'll get to this one, saying that the rooting procedure is complete. Then we're gonna go to the device to make sure that it worked. Okay, so now on the device, we're going to open up the app drawer, click on Super SU. It says it needs to be updated, click continue. And of course, you need to make sure you're connected to the internet for this. Installation success, we're good there. Now go to BusyBox free at the top. And this program requires root access, so it should ask us for permission. We're going to say grant. and then click install. So long as it says installation was successful, means you have root access and now you have BusyBox as well. Okay, and after we check that, we're going to uh, go to the market and search for ROM manager. Click on the free version, hit install, accept and download. Then open. Click OK. Okay, now even though we did technically flash Clockwork Mod Recovery, we're gonna do this just to make sure it sticks because sometimes it doesn't. So flash Clockwork Mod, select our model. And wait for that to flash. Say grant for super user. It says successfully flashed recovery. Click okay. Okay, get out of that. And then we're gonna tap a reboot into recovery to make sure that it worked. And so long as you have the little clockwork guy and the 
recovery options up there at the top. You're all set, you now have root access and you have Clockwork Mod Recovery as your custom recovery image. You can go on to our next video, which is linked uh, beneath this one on our site uh, for loading custom ROMs. Uh, there's other videos on how to get Flash to work in the browser, uh, overclock the device, and a bunch of other things. So there you go, enjoy.